welcome back guys this is part one of the paint series let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to do is import tkinter now let's create the gui let's start in this variable window and let's call on one of tkinter's methods main loop this is the method that you're always going to call on when you create a window and it just makes sure that your window is running correctly so let's go ahead and run this and that alone gives us this GUI. It doesn't have anything in it. Let's change the title. By default, it's TK. We're going to use a method title. And we're going to change the title to paint. Also, when you run this project, I want the window to expand to its full size. So we're going to use another method, state. And we're going to include zoomed as a parameter. Let's run this again. All right, there's the title change and the window expanded to its full size. Let's also change the color of our window. We're going to use the method config. And here we're going to use BG. That's short for background. And we're going to change the color to red. Let's see what that looks like. All right, there's the red. Now let's place this window on a grid. And we want it to be in row 0, column 0. To place it on row zero, we're going to use a method row configure, and we want it in row zero, so we're going to include that as a parameter, and we're going to add another parameter, weight equals one. This is going to make sure that when we expand the window, the row expands to the size of the window. That took care of placing it in row zero. Now we got to place it in column zero as well, so we're going to use column configure for this, and we also want to give this a weight of one. Now that we have our window, we're going to create a canvas and we're going to place it on top of that window. We're going to call it canvas and we're going to use the canvas class of tkinter to create this canvas. We want it placed on our window and let's place this canvas on the grid. So this is going to be right on top of this window. So we want it in row zero, column zero. Run this. Okay, here's our canvas, but we want it to be as big as our window. So we're going to add another parameter in our grid. Sticky equals and sue. This stands for north, south, east, west. So this canvas is going to expand in all directions and it's basically going to mold into the size of the window. Let's run this again. And notice how you don't see any red anymore. That's because our canvas is sitting right on top of our window. So it expanded to the size of the window. So we really don't need this anymore. I just changed the window to red so you guys could see what I was doing here. Now let's create a line in our canvas. For this, we're going to use a method create a line. This takes four parameters x, y, x, y. The X's represent X coordinates and the Y's represent Y coordinates. So let me show you an example of how this works. So the X's are on the top horizontal and the Y's are going down vertically. So if your first X coordinate was 20 and your first Y coordinate was 20, then the line would start right where these two lines would meet, which would be right there. So let's add those two as our first coordinates. So this is going to be 20 and 20. And these two represent where you want the line to end. So if we wanted this line to end, let's say here, then we would set our X coordinate to 60 and our Y coordinate to 20. So let's go ahead and change those values. So X is going to be 60 and Y is going to be 20. And there's the line. Now let's do one more example. Let's say that we wanted this line to end right over here. So we would set the X coordinate to 80 and we would set the Y coordinate to 60. So now the line is going to be from here to here. So this is 80 and this is 60. Okay. 
okay here's the new line so we know that we need an x and y coordinate to begin the line and an x and y coordinate to end the line we also know that we're in a particular x and y coordinate no matter where we are in the canvas so let's create a function that's going to give us the x and y coordinates of where we are on the screen when we click on the canvas so i'm going to comment this out and let's use a bind for this this bind is going to be activated when the user clicks on the screen so when the user clicks on the window we want to call on this function locate xy let's create that function up here but first let's create two global variables current x and current y let's initialize them to zero and let's create our function here let's add an argument event let's bring in the variables using our global keyword So when the user clicks on the canvas, we're going to grab the X and Y coordinates of that location and we're going to store the X coordinate in this current X variable and the Y coordinate in this current Y variable. And I'm going to print them out so you can see exactly what the coordinates are. And let's run this again. And make this smaller. So now when I click on the canvas, I'm going to get the X and Y coordinates to output over here. Now we have the first two X and Y coordinates. We need to create a line. Now let's go get the other two. So I'm going to delete this. We're going to create another bind. This one was for when the user clicked on the canvas. This one's going to be for when the user drags a mouse on the canvas. Let's call this one add line. And let's create it under this one. Bring in our global variables. And let's use that function create a line. Here we're going to add current X and current Y. So this is the beginning of the line. And wherever the user drags the mouse to is where we want this to end. Let's print these values out as well so you can see them. And let's run this. All right, so I'm going to click down and then I'm going to move. So X coordinate started at 66 and Y 44 and we ended at 66 45, but we kept dragging the mouse. So this kept changing. But notice that the starting point remains the same so it's not actually letting us draw anything and that's because we need to update our current x and current y variables so right under here we have to set our current x and our current y to the last location let's run it again So now it's actually letting me draw and we started off at location 114 137 and then literally every time that we were dragging the mouse it was updating this so it went from 113 to 137 the end point now the beginning point was 113 137 this was the end point now this became the starting point 
So literally that function was just almost like a loop, just going, 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 going and updating itself in real time. All right, let's get out of here. Let's delete this print. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'll see you guys in part two. In part two, we'll actually add the colors to our project and we'll wrap things up. So I'll see you guys then. Thank <laughs> you.